What's going on, Clash Brexit? It's Rocky here today, and today we're going to be talking Go Hobo, Go Boho. Uh, I've heard her called both ways. I like Go Hobo. It, it seems to flow better, but Go Boho, uh, I've, I've heard a lot of people calling it that, and I think that's the official name for it, but... So we're going to be talking Go Boho today. Uh, we're going to show you guys a couple different uh, versions of this and go over each one and why they're successful. The first example we're going to show you is a low hero version, 10-10 uh, heroes. It is against a lower hero base, but they do have expos and all that good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys what we're going. We, this army has three golems, 18 hogs, eight wizzies, three wall breakers, two archers, uh, obviously max bullets in the CT, 10 heroes, 10-10 heroes rather, two heals, one rage, one jump, poison and clan castle poison so we're going to start the raid off uh we're going to go nice and wide with our golem placement so we can get a nice wide funnel with our wizards here clearing out all these buildings so that the bowlers don't wander around uh we'll place the other go golem over here same thing get those wizards just clearing out all the buildings and we just want a nice wide funnel here throw in that third golem in the middle there throw in our heroes to help take care of that queen get her taken out we do have a wall break fail um, I wanted the wall breakers to go a little bit more right, but they went right into the bomb tower So we're gonna just wait a little bit longer uh, Wait for the king to open up this section I don't want these hogs wandering around and it works out really well because our wizards are actually gonna end up taking out the king And then our other golem over here on the top right is gonna lure out the clan castle uh, Making them prime to be taken out uh, with the bowlers and everything so that golem is gonna get taken out We're still gonna have two golems left. We're gonna throw in our bowlers, pl bowlers place down that jump uh, we see one giant bomb goes off there. We're going to poison the clan castle troops. Uh, rage up right there. Get everything nice and raged. And then we're going to throw in our hogs top right here. So we accomplished a couple of things early on with that kill squad before the hogs went in. Uh, we took out the clan castle. We took out the queen and king. If you can get the king too, excellent. But most of the time you're only going to be able to get the queen. Um, that way they're not going to be targeting the hogs. The, the queen will wreck hogs. You want to get that queen taken out. And obviously clan castle troops are going to wreck hogs as well. So... Those are two things you want to try to accomplish with your kill squad. So we got the rage going. We got everything going into that core. We got our bowlers raged up. Our king working on that town hall. And it's going really well. We got our hogs working around the exterior. Uh, we created a nice counterclockwise path for the hogs to go around. Uh, we pre heal this area where there's bomb spots. Get them going in. But unfortunately, all the bombs blow up our bowlers instead. But it's not a big deal because we got plenty of hog riders left. Uh, the hogs are just taking care of work here. Uh, getting all these defensive buildings taken care of our queen's still alive We're gonna use our final heal spell to keep those hogs alive We only have a few more defensive structures and from there it's gonna be smooth sailing easy money uh, All the giant bombs already went off so we know that we're in a good situation actually I think there's one more giant bomb, but uh, we are in a really good situation there from there It's just easy cleanup. We're gonna go ahead and speed this up a little bit times four So hopefully you guys can kind of understand what I was accomplishing there with the low hero Version we're gonna show off a couple different versions from Misa and other clan mates But this is probably in my opinion the most powerful town hall 9 attack uh, as stated in the title uh, It's super strong. It works against almost any base uh, Low heroes high heroes it as long as you have good execution this strategy is gonna work out well for you So let's go ahead and get into another right, next version. up. We have little Misa uh, He's using a two golem version 25 hogs one baby dragon to help funnel two or six uh, wizards uh, obviously a clan castle full of bowlers. He's got 17, 20 heroes, two heals, one rage, one jump, and poison spells. That seems to be pretty consistent as long as, as far as the uh, spell composition, uh, the two heal, one rage, one jump, and then poison spells. So he's going to go in uh, this side of the base here. He's going to go in pretty strong, pretty aggressive at this base. He's going to throw his baby dragon down uh, to help start funneling that left side there. You don't want the bowlers wandering off, and that's why he's going to funnel here. He's just going to throw in both golems because there's not really a good spot to go with the other golems. So he's going to get both golems there, tanking all the damage, just not worrying about everything. Uh, once he has a good funnel, he's going to drop in the bowler, drop in the heroes, uh, and get them going. He places that jump right into the core. Outcome clan castle troops. You see him drop the poison, drop that rage. So he's going to get these clan castle troops taken out in a hurry. Uh, very nice spell placement there. He's going to start sprinkling his hogs in here on the bottom side. So it all kind of happens pretty quickly. You want to make sure you monitor everything, keep everything going smoothly. Uh, gets the hogs going in, gets them all working around the base. He has hogs up top, hogs at the bottom. Uh, it's kind of hard to keep track of everything, but Misa executes this attack very nicely. Uh, every time he does it, it's just really, really impressive to see. So we see that we got the hogs coming in from the top. 
final heal spell going in. He has that heal spell in his pocket for the, the end of the raid, which works out really well for him. Or uh, the end of the defenses, rather. So the last defense going down here with the cannon. He still didn't even use a poison spell. No big deal there. He's just going to hurry up, clean up the rest of the base, and it's just easy money from there, guys. This was like a minute and a half, minute 40 second attack just because of the perfect execution with Misa. Uh, he just used this really well. Uh, again, I think this is the best Town Hall 9 attack strategy right now. If you can learn uh, Go Boho, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you out. Two golems, three golems, whatever version works best for you, use it to your advantage. 25 hogs here, uh, and they just ran through that base. Let's go ahead and show off another replay. All right, guys. next up we have Thor. Going up more of this near max defensive Town Hall 9 base, uh, heroes, he has the hero advantage, but uh, the defenses are still pretty close to max on here. Uh, he's got two two golems, uh, 22 hogs, eight whizzies, four wall breakers, uh, baby dragon, obviously bowlers in the clan castle. And then again, we see two heals, one rage, one jump, and then poison spells. So very consistent as far as uh, the uh, poison or the spell drops or the spell composition for this army. Uh, we're going to see Thor go ahead and throw in his golem, throw in the whizzies behind. He has his baby dragon falling up top, which is all really standard. You want that nice wide funnel for these uh, bowlers. You don't want the bowlers to uh, get distracted. They will go wide. They will go left, right in a hurry if you get don't get the nice wide funnel on it. Uh, so you see he drops in the heroes here, or drops in the queen rather. Queen's going in, poisons that enemy queen just to slow her down a little bit, gets that jump ready, and he's ready to go in. We see loons and wizzies come out of this clan castle uh, he's gonna go ahead and drop in that other poison on the clan castle troops bowlers and king are in getting ready to go push towards that core uh as the clan castle troops are falling right there the clan castle troops fall he drops in that rage spell raging up the bowlers raging up that king getting them going in he's gonna have a nice drop on those hogs there uh just throwing in a couple hogs at first just letting them kind of work their way in he has a nice surgical drop on the hogs throughout this base uh not rushing his hog drop at all uh, works perfectly for him and he's just gonna heal up that area keep the hogs alive keep them working through the base you see him just dropping in a few more hogs on these exterior buildings doesn't have to really worry about the giant bombs as much because it's exterior buildings as he's dropping the hogs throws in that third heal great perfect spot with the giant bombs going off double giant bomb but it didn't matter because it was staggered and it was pre-healed last bit of hogs going in to take out these structures still plenty of bowlers left and you just see that he accomplished so much with the kill squad that the hogs were easily to, able to run through the base. He took out the clan castle, he took out the queen, and it just was no big deal as he got in with the kill squad. Uh, so very nice attack by Thor, but again, if you guys can take out the clan castle, take out the enemy queen, you're going to be in really good shape with your uh, go boho, go hobo attacks, uh, whether it be stoned or shattered or whatever you want to use here. So a very nice attack from Thor there. Uh, very powerful town hall 9 strategy uh i do have some other replays but they're kind of mismatches in my opinions these ones are a little bit better as far as the the matchups uh we have some higher heroes versus lower heroes and not max bases and stuff but these are the three replays i want to show you guys show you guys how this strategy works so well uh seems like the two golem aka shattered version has been working really well for my clan mates so make sure you guys try that out hopefully you guys like this in my opinion the most powerful town hall 9 attack strategy right now in this moment of time uh once you learn it it is very easy to use so hopefully you guys enjoy the strategy make sure you leave a comment leave a like subscribe to the channel for more great content uh make sure you guys keep coming back for more clash clans clash royale videos check out the live streams nightly on twitch and here on youtube make sure you guys have a great day keep on clash bash and take it easy guys